Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to start looking at the top line menu. I'm going to go through different points so that you understand what each of these things does. In most cases, most of what you're going to be doing is going to be in the left hand side menu as well as on the timeline. And what you're going to find is that many of these features are also going to be found in the top line menu. However, there are certain aspects of the program that you are going to want to be aware of. So let's first go to the file menu. You notice the very first link is for a new project. So if you are, so it's going to be instructive right here to talk about the difference between projects and recording files. You're going to see files and most of them are going to be read and you're going to notice that they're called TechSmith recordings. The files in Camtasia 9, when you complete a recording, will be saved into a file name called TREC, which is called TechSmith Recording. That's the same thing that you actually have on your timeline. And you'll notice that you have the TREC file right here in your media bin. These files are all recording files. They can all be pulled into the timeline and they can all be edited into a specific project. So that even though this T-Rec or this recording file does not change, we can edit it in a number of different ways and we can save that recording into a project in as many ways as we want to do an edit. So in order to create a project, we've already done our edits and so we would go to the file menu and we would save this as a particular project and give that project a name. What we can do then is we can go to get the file menu. We can get a new project and what you'll notice is that the entire timeline goes away. So in other words, that project is now saved. We no longer need it and we can now pull a new recording file into this particular timeline. Now one thing that's important to note, when you are recording a video, you will typically want to have your new project on your timeline. And the reason is because when you actually finish your new recording, that recording is going to automatically populate, as we've seen in previous videos, into this timeline. If you don't, what will happen is it will actually add on to a project that's already open. So you want to make sure that you have a new project ready to go when you actually start recording. New project also means that we can actually pull other media into our media bin and we can start working with it into the timeline. We can import media, which we will go over in another video, and we can start working with that video and dragging it onto the timeline. So a new project basically means that this is a way for us to edit a recording file or to create some new media based on everything else that we already have. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.